Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm back inside of Power World. And today, I want to try my luck at make, making and breeding an Anubis. Yeah, not capturing an Anubis. Actually, breeding one. So, we need a couple of pals to do that to breed with. Okay, so here we go. Let's jump on over into game. I'm just at a fast travel point. The fast travel point that I'm at right now is the Pen King. The only thing is... I've I've defeated it not so long ago. It's got an hour's cooldown. So I've already captured one of these penkings. You can find them on the map just there. That's one of the breeding creatures that you're going to need is a penking in that sort of like northern area of this red area. Anyway, the other one that I'm going to need is this swordsman. And he's just across there. So his name is Bushy. Yeah, so I'm just going to jump on over to here. He's level 23. And we're going to be jumping over there and taking on Bushy. Right, so, I mean, he is level 23, so you need to be fairly tough in what you're doing. Is he up there? I think he is. This is very sort of reminiscent of Elden Ring, these sort of like little teleporter places. Oh, and if you haven't got cows to get yourself some milk, this is a good place to get the cows from. So there's two sitting right there that I could grab to get more milk if I wanted to. Anyways, we're going to jump on into this, and we're going to hit on up the swordsman. And see if we can capture coat him. Let's go on into the dungeon. Yes, I want to go into the sealed realm. Okay, I haven't fought this guy before. Pow! 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 Go get him! Now, I like using this pal, because this pal sort of stuns them quite well. And also uses, uses like, um, yeah, electric attacks. Sometimes paralyzes them a bit. And then other times, freezes them as well, so you can get a few extra hits in. It's quite a good pal to have with you, this one. Lunaris. So that Lunaris is doing quite a fair bit of damage there. Okay, right. Let Lunaris do a couple more attacks. Okay, that'll probably do. I'm going to try a blue ball and see what happens. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Okay. 10%. Oh, it's going up. Are we going to get him with a blue ball? We got him with a blue ball. I guess we did. Okay. Well, that's going to take another hour before I can capture Kate another one of those. So I can go back to my base, craft some more ammo, stuff like that, because, you know, I need to really. And also I can check on what sex this creature was. Okay. So where's my fast travel point? Is it this way? 110 meters that way? Yes, there it is there. Cool. Got my nice glider. Yeah. What was that blue thing over there? Oh, hold on. There's a big bird there. Is that the Nightwing that I've already got? I think I've already captured catered some of them. All right, anyway, that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll head back to base. I'll see you there, people. Okay, right, so I'm back at base. Let's have a look in my old POW box. And let's go and have a look at the one that I just caught. So the one that I just caught is female. So if I have a male pen king, I could breed them both. Sadly, my penking is not female. Is, is, is not male. It's a female as well. Okay. Did I get another penking? I have one there. Again, it's female though. So I have a need to get a male, one of those samurais, or a male of the other kind. You know, the penking. So I need to keep catching penkings, and also that little bushy swordsman, because I need to get some males now. All right. Well, I'm just going to make some ammo while I'm here, and then I'll be back with you soon. Cool, look at all that that I'm getting. Lovely. Okay, chums, well, I'm back. I've also got myself a crossbow now, people. So we've got quite a lot of arrows that I can fire with this thing. Anyway, let's go and see if we can go and catch ourselves a panking, first of all. So let's go there. Let's go get a panking. Of course, lovely jobs. And then I'll try and capture a Kate, one of those uh, bushies in a moment as well, people. But you've already seen me catch a bushy. You haven't seen me catch a panking in this episode. I have in previous episode. I don't like those stairs. Those stairs are really finitico. Leg it up here. And let's go and head on in and take on the panking. There we go. Now the panking is also accompanied by a load of little mobs as well. They're right pain in the neck. So I'm going to try and kill those as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, yeah, go get them. Probably not the best one to throw out against these guys, to be honest. Let's, let's throw out this one instead. Hey ya! Yeah, you want some? Oh yeah, I'll let him take on the Pen King while I shoot these little guys in the face. Oh yeah, there's one dead. 
Need to watch his health though, because I don't want him to accidentally kill the Pen King. There we go. I'll call him back in now. Hiya! Oh damn, I missed him. That's the end of you! Troublesome git! Oh dear, that that done that done a lot of damage. Okay, let's see if we can get him with a blue ball. Nope. Okay. Let's try a megasphere. I've only got one megasphere, but I've got loads of gigaspheres. If that doesn't work, I guess. Nope. One more. Get in there and stay in there. That's 100% capture, so that's a guaranteed. Righto. Let's just go pick up these bits of these little guys that we killed. Nice. Lovely jubbly. I am saving up to try and make my ar ice armour. So all that ice organ is going to come quite in handy for that. Anyway, we're just going to go straight and catch a bushy. And then we'll go back to base and see if we either of them were male. Otherwise, we're going to go for another hour's cooldown, which I don't overly fancy, people. Okay. What the fudge? Okay. I just wondered what he had in his claws. He hasn't got anything in his claws. He's just got giant freaking claws, hasn't he? All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's just glide on down here, then. Meow. Let's go do our fast travelling, then, people. Cool, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. And we're going to go get ourselves a bushy now. So, where are you, bushy? There he is, right there. Okay, fast travel. Chicka boom boom. There goes. Not far to run, really, for the bushy. Just at the top of this hill. Wow! Take that! You know what? It's just quicker to throw him at them, isn't he? Take that in the face. There you go. I should get some bones for killing these guys, which is always handy. And some leather. Nice. Oh, what are these little pink lamb things? I think I've already got a pink lamb thing. I've already got one of them. And tree stump there. I thought it was um, a pal for a second. Like a tree stump pal. <laughs> let's head on in then. And let's uh, fight this one. Yes, I want to fight him. Hello. Shot you in the freaking eye, mate. Yeah, what are you going to do about that? Get him. Boom. Oh, he teleported. There he is. Sweet. Take that. Oh, this one takes a bit more concentration. He's quite quick with his attacks, is this one. Right, let's call back in my little pal. Just me versus you, mate. Hiya! Get in the ball! Okay, don't get in the ball. I'll make you weaker. Now get in there and stay in there. 55, go on. Yes! We've got him! Ha ha! Tally ho, and away we go. Let's head back to base. Let's see you at base and we'll see if we got lucky. Oh, chums, look what I've come across. I've come across a giant freaking dinosaur. You're mine, dinosaur. Heck yes, you are. I'm going to freaking capture a cage you. Pow! Yeah, we're having that. Taking that home. Boom! You're mine! My girls just got a new pal. Lovely jubbly. Don't mind if I do. Coolio! Let's head back to base. Yes. Coolio. And... Sorry, her. Did I get lucky? Did I catch a male? Let's have a look, see. Ah, uh, wrong one. Okay. Let's have a look. And, ah, uh, that's... Oh, that's cool. Yes, we've got a male! Is it you a male as well? I've got two males. Brilliant! Okay, right. So... This one is a female, so I'll tell you what, let's just get the bushy that's a male. There we are. Put him in there. That should put him right behind me. Where's he gone? There he is. Lift him up. Oh, he does fire. He does kindling. That's good. Put him in there. 
is in the breeding farm. And then I just need my pen king, which is just here. I'm going to stick him in the breeding farm. There we are. We've got two pals, and they're breeding. I don't know what this guy's doing in here. You can get out of my breeding pen. I don't, li I don't like the idea of you being there, just in case it screws up. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit finicky at the best of times. We'll put you in the ranch. Go do some burying. Okay, right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right, let's head on over here then. Let's see how this is getting on. We've got an egg on the bake, and I'm hoping this is going to be an Anubis when it's ready. I'll be right back with you when it's finished on progress. Okay, Jums, well, one of my eggs is ready. We've got one egg, so let's go pick this one up. Let's go stick it in the old incubator over here. Wow. That over then to there. It'll take a little while to go. Cool. Now, one of my um, little honey laying guys got sick. And I haven't got enough to make medicine. I need to get some tusks from somewhere. So, yeah, I'm going to have to sort that out at some point. At the moment, I've just sort of put him back. No, there he is there. I was thinking, what happens if I let him die completely? If I just throw him out, let him die, and then put him back into the power box where he might lose that sick tag? I don't know. Or where... He might just get better on his own, actually. That's just because you don't stay sick forever, do you? So, uh, you know what? You know, I'm going to stick him back in into play. And we'll, we'll see if he just gets better on his own accord or whether he dies. If he dies, I'll just have to go catch another one, won't I? Replace that guy, I think. Actually, no. That guy drops berries. He's good for food, isn't he? So, I might swap out the little pink cat. There we are. I do. Oh, now I've got the pink cat in my group. I don't want him in my group, so I'm going to put in Chile. There we are. Okay, cool, yeah. How, how's it getting along with my um, in egg incubation? I think I've like, just put it in there, so it's probably going to take a little while. We've got to come back in like 30 minutes, unless I put a fire next to it. By that time, we might have another egg laid by these guys, because I've got like five cakes in there at the moment, so they should just carry on. I could end up with five Anubises, which would be awesome for when I do my next base, people, inside the Viewerverse. Okay, I've got another egg. Come on, let's go pick that one up then. And i got to stick that in my other incubator, so I've got two on the go now. There goes. Lovely jubbly. Well, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, I'll go continue baking some cakes. If I knew you was coming, I'd have baked a cake. Baked a cake. Baked a cake. If I knew you was coming, I'd have baked a cake. Happy chew, happy chew, happy chew. Thank you. Well, going and fighting the Pan King and killing all his little minions gave me enough of the cold organs to make my cold resistant metal armor. So I'm just going to craft that, go to sleep, and then check on my eggs. Again, okay, let's have a little sleep then. Let's see if that moves my eggs on. Hopefully it does. I don't know whether it does or doesn't. I don't know whether it's linked to the in-game timer or whether it's linked to just a well timer. Right, let's go and have a look-see. Oh, got another egg, though. Pick that up. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. No, still got 20 minutes on these. And can I build another egg incubator? Let's have a look-see. No, I need some palladium fragments and some more cloth to make one of those. Okay, well, I have got a thing over here where if I stick rock in it or stone, I can make a shed load of these things. Let's let's start that going then. Oh, okay, probably don't want to do that much, come to think of it. Let's exit out of there and go back in again. Let's just do, I don't know, do 40 of them. We'll leave that going. I think I've got quite a few watering ones in here, so hopefully that that'll be on the way. Audio. And have I got some wheat going in here? Oh, that's alright, I don't need to do that actually. I don't really want my water. Oh, there you go. He's doing that one. He's going to go do the palladium fragments. And what was the other thing that I needed? I needed cloth, didn't I? So let's go make some cloth quickly. Zoom. I can just do it on this bench actually. No need to go inside. And I'll just do 12. Let's get that going. Nice. Okay, well, I've got enough for another egg incubator. So let's go and stick this over by the other one, so at least I can sort of, like, bake three eggs at a time. Might as well. 
I mean, I could put a fire near all these to speed up the time, but I can't be asked. Right, there we go. Ah, uh -huh. there we are. Jing, jing. And this is going to be like my little breeding place anyway, so it's all good. And in you go. Bakey, bakey, eggs are bakey. Right, so I've got three of them on the go, so hopefully I'll have three Anubises soon, people. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Okay, well that bumblebee doesn't seem to be getting any better. And that Probiti dropped horns. So if I can look where I can find one of these little guys. Habitat. I'm pressed R trigger. There we go. Oh, right where I'm standing, apparently they spawn around there in the daytime. So I'm going to go on a hunt and see if I can find some to kill Kate. Aha! These deers also drop them. So we can kill this deer. If it can hold still. Hold still so I can freaking kill you! There we are. Got his attention. There we go. Got leather. Got six horns from that one. Nice. Where are you going? Ow! Eh, you want some? I mean, I get flame organs from these guys. I do. So I'm going on a bit of a safari at the moment, people. Just killing stuff. So we've got some horns, anyway, from that little purple reindeer thing. Do you give claw claws and horns? Ah, I missed him! Oh, whoops, missed him again. Oh, what's in the cage? It's a little blue dog. Oh, it's a mouth, but it's blue. What the flying fudge is that all about? I haven't got a blue one. Cool. Wow, a mouth cyst. Nice. Cool, all right. Hello, mate. Hello. I don't think they, they give anything. Not what I'm after, anyway. Aha! There's another purple one of those reindeers over there. No, it isn't. That's the dead one that I killed earlier. Dang it. All right, well, I'll carry on hunting anyway. We'll go back and see those eggs in a bit. Ah, I found some of the little green suckers. Let's kill him. Oh! Right in the back. Yes, in the face. Let's get down there. Kill him up close and personal then. Pow! That's you dead. Right, let's go get our trusty horns. Nice. Really? Yeah? You want some? Right, so we've got quite a lot of horns now. I don't think I need to kill many more of those things. There's a tansy there. I don't know whether they give you horns. I don't doubt it. We'll find out. Hmm, mushroom there. Okay. Interesting. Do they always give mushrooms? Let's find out. <laughs> Experimenting with death. Yeah, you get mushrooms from killing tansies. Hardly seems worth it. They're cute little things as well. Oh, look, there's an egg over there. we we'll go grab that. Might as well. I love this little waterfall area. This is quite luscious, actually. I quite like just exploring. There's so much to see. All right. Well, I better head back to my base, which is this way, I think. Oh, there's a tower just there. Have I already done this tower? I think I have. Which means there must be a fast travel point near here to get me back to my base. Heck yes. There it is. Yeah, I've already been in here, in this cave. I've already done all this. Yeah, I've done that one. That was where we come across that buzz guy, whatever his name was. Grisbolt. That's him. Okay, right. X. And we'll go back to my base. Hey. Let's see if those eggs are ready, shall we? Let's go see if we can get an Anubis. And we'll, if not, we'll go make some medicine and go cure one of my creatures. Oh, we're still way off. All right, fine. We've got two more, two more eggs there. Bloody hell. You're going to have a whole army of Anubis. All right, fine. And... Yeah, I need to make some medicine. Righto. So I don't know which one cures sickness. Also fractures... Effective... Okay, I think it's going to be this one. 
good for coals. Well, at least six. I would imagine that's what I need to do. Uh, let's just do two for now. Right. Let's get that on the bake. Let's go see if we can actually cure this little guy. Hopefully we can. Dum dum da da dum dum da dum. Diddly diddly do. Am I going to have to put him in my party to then feed him? I think I probably am. All right, let's go do that then. Hopefully this works. Let's see if this works, people. All right, so I need the bumblebee. Where are you, bumblebee? Oh, he's down here because uh, he's, he's working on my face, isn't he? Yeah. Let's just replace him with that guy for now. And if I come out of there, go into here, and I get my medicine... And is it going to cure him? Yes, I think it did. I think. All right. Get him back. Yeah, he's cured. Pow. There you go. Don't say I don't do anything for you. All right, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that lovely? Managed to do that. Cool. Oh my god, we've got three eggs there now, people. Three eggs. Okay, people, I'm getting these guys laying eggs quicker than I can make freaking cakes. And by the time one of these hatch, they've laid another three eggs, which is freaking insane. I could have an army of Anubis if I could get an electric cooker. Um, yeah, and maybe if I did put little fires in between these. But I think you've got to sort of put them in an enclosure or something to sort of keep the heat up. Anyway, this one's about hatching 22 seconds. I'll be right back. Well, peeps, just two seconds. If this isn't an Anubis, I'm going to be gutted. So here we go. Let's, let's see if we get an Anubis. It's going to pop up where my camera is, though. Yes, we got an Anubis. I guess we just got an Anubis. Nice one. Okay, people, well, let's, um, let's go into the old PAL deck. Bum, bum, bum. Well, let's go see if I can get to my new ones. Da, 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 da. That's not him. Looked like him, didn't it? Oh, hold on. Did I just see him then? Um, it, it is very janky and slow when you're looking at your PAL deck. Okay, let's go down. I think he's quite high level. I don't know why it jumped all the way back to the top again. That was a bit weird. I don't know what number he is inside of the PAL deck. Uh, ba, ba, there he is! There he is! He's number 100. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he drops bone. Cool. Large PAL soul. Look at that though, handiwork 4, mining 3. Oh, he's a freaking mining beast, this guy. Alright, and he does his own transporting, he's going to help me with handiwork. Right, well I'm going to go to sleep now. Actually, let's pick up one more of these eggs. Yeah, I'm going to have an army of Anubis, people. Heck yes. I'm going to stick that in there. Lovely, so that's on its way. And then I'm going to be ending off. You know what, I might as well put this one in there, mind I, for now. Get that one done in 1 minute 40. Then go to sleep. And put the um, Anubis in. But you know what? I can do that in my own time. You saw me get the Anubis. That was the whole aim of this video. To get an Anubis. Mission accomplished, people. And we've done a few extra bits from there. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like and subscribe. And if you're on social media or on some sort of Powell-y type place, share my video. It'd be nice to get more people coming here to watch Powell. As well as my No Man's Sky stuff. If you know somebody that's a hybrid person like that. Anyway, till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.